Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag73 channel or Shine the Light 73 channel if you're watching this from my other channel. Today we have Smithsonian Institute for voting video number 80 in the Mandela Effect voting video series. Always Smithsonian Institute my entire life. I never ever heard Smithsonian Institution until about three months ago. It sounds so foreign and makes me cringe because it just, it's weird. I never heard it. Smithsonian Institute I feel like I got the Smithsonian Institute blues now because it's never been in this reality. What do we got here? And if you can put the hoodie of Trayvon Martin in the Smithsonian Institute, then I see no reason why if we're going to have justice in America that you can't put the hood of the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan during the height of Klan activity also as a relic within the Smithsonian Institute. I want to... Okay, that was interesting. Uh, moving along. Well, apparently we have a big announcement from the Smithsonian Institute today, so please welcome my... All right, big announcement from the Smithsonian Institute today. What it was my entire life. If you recall Smithsonian Institute, thumb this video up. If, if you have conscious memories of another reality where... You ate Jiffy peanut butter and Kit Kat had a hyphen and there was a Smithsonian Institute like we have here presenting joy to the world, then thumb this up. If it's always been institution, thumb the video down. So we have British scientist James Smithson left most of his wealth to his nephew Henry James Hungerford when he died and under the name of the Smithsonian Institution that's been the name for 150 years or whatever it's always been the Smithsonian Institution as far as I can tell there's no name change so it's always been. I never heard that till about three months ago. Bizarre. Just bizarre. The first time I heard it, I was like, what? Why are people calling the Smithsonian Institution? 1963, Smithsonian Institute gets space capsule. Used by Astro Glenn. Got a Oakland Star banner a newspaper here. And I dug up a few other things here showing my memories. This is not proof of anything. Some people need proof. Well... Go get your proof. I don't need proof. <laughs> I know my consciousness has shifted. And a lot of other people know as well. We don't need proof. If you were experiencing the phenomenon like us, you wouldn't need to say, well, I need proof to believe in the Mandel Effect. The Mandel Effect is not something you choose to believe in. You're either experiencing it or you're not. It's not something you, you believe. Oh, I believe it. No, I know it. I know it, okay? And a lot of other people know it as well. Smithsonian Institute, 71 years old, 1916 newspaper. Interesting. Apologize, overloaded the computer here a little bit, doing a little bit too much research for the old dinosaur. Smithsonian Institute Blue. Blue. All right, <laughs> moving along, a new museum is planned. Smithsonian would get added structure under the Congress bill, 1954. What do we got here? What are we going to find? Let's see. Plans are being made to convert the Smithsonian Institute, already Washington's top tourist attraction, into a truly national museum representing history, science, industry, and engineering of the country. Here's another article, 1957, the Smithsonian Institute to search Israel's 2,000-year-old harbor. Dug up a few books. It's in the Smithsonian Institute. Why is it in the Smithsonian Institute? Talking about this airplane. It's there because it's obsolete. 
I'm just showing you examples of other people who share my memories. There's no reason to call it Smithsonian Institute if it was the Smithsonian Institution. If that's what I had heard my whole life, that's what I'd be calling it. But that's not what it was where I have memories from another reality. I don't know how else to put it, everyone. Uh, that's just how it is for me. So here we have a record of the second exhibition the Metropolitan Mechanics Institute held in the Smithsonian Institute building. Another book entitled The First Smithsonian Collection. So that's it. Threw this together real quick. I'm out the door. Wanted to put this out. I have so many videos to make, so they'll come out as I have time to prep them and do the research. So please vote on this, everyone. Please share. I'll be talking to everyone soon. And try not to overload my computer next time. <laughs> Have to be getting a new one here pretty soon, I think. So I'll leave you with this. Come on down to the big Dixie. Smithsonian is a two blues. Smithsonian is a two blues. Smithsonian is a two blues.